In this video, we'll talk about the immune checkpoint blockers and its promise as a cancer therapeutics. So, our body fights against the cancer with the help of the CD8 positive T cells. So, they are the major cancer warriors of the immune system. Any cancer cell would express several kind of proteins which are altered self-peptides and these can be recognized by the CD8 positive T cells. So oncopeptides can be some altered version of the new peptide or mutated version of the peptides that are present in the own body or it could also be overexpressed self-peptides. But whatever it is, the CD8 positive T cell can recognize it on a class 1 MHC molecule. So there are two types of interaction that can happen with the cancer cell. There are activatory receptors on the T cell and inhibitory receptors on the T cell. They work like brakes and accelerators. So immune checkpoint molecules are one kind of molecules that engage the breaks in the CD8 positive T cells. Now these immune checkpoint molecules are really used by the body to mod modulate the immune responses. And cancer cells learn to mimic that response and inhibit T cell response. So the overall function of the T cell can be hindered. Now the immune checkpoint blockers are kind of molecules that disengage this break, allowing the T cell to re-engage and do its job in terms of killing the cancer cells. And that is why it has such a dramatic therapeutic potential. Now let us zoom into a little bit more details. So here is a cancer cell and here is a CD8 positive T cell that is recognizing a unique cancer protein. Now there are several inhibitory receptors such as uh, PD-1 and PD-1 ligand and CTLA-4. So these are the proteins that are targeted by the checkpoint blockers. Now by blocking these checkpoints, T cell activity can be enhanced. So the PD-1 which is present on the surface of the T cell and PD uh, ligand which is present on the tumor cell is a key interaction which prevents the T cell activation or proliferation. Similarly, CTLA-4 present on the T cell and B7.1, B7.2 present on the tumor cell can also uh, prevent the T cell response or the response through the TCR uh, receptors. Now there are other kind of molecules such as TIM3 which in generally regulates the proliferation but tumor cell can engage with TIM3 and block the prolif proliferation. Similarly there are ITIMs and TIG molecules which are now discovered which regulates the overall intensity of the T cell response. Now one of the most important interactions was PD-1 and PD-1 ligand and basically the CTLA-4. So the immune checkpoint blockers target these interactions. For example, if these interactions are blocked, then the response of the T cell can be revived. So here are monoclonal antibodies which are generated against the PD-1 such as uh, semiplimab, nivolumab, pembrolizumab, etc. So all of these can actually block the PD-1 and PD ligand 1 interaction. Similarly, there are molecules against the ligand itself, such as uh, atezolumab, darvulumab, and avelumab. So all these prevents the inhibitory responses. Then there are molecules which target the CTLA-4 such as epilumumab and all of these has dramatic cancer therapeutic potential. So in short immune checkpoint blockers actually uh, are molecules which modulate the T cell activation and function. They ensure that cancer cell cannot stop the T cells from functioning or attacking them and this is how they ensure the cancer can be resolved. So here is a quick summary about the immune checkpoint blockers. They are used in different uh, contexts, for example in melanoma, in Hodgkin's lymphoma, 
etc and their potential to treat cancer is kind of emerging right now in a scientific field and every drug has their side effect so these checkpoint blockers also have their side effects they can lead to colitis hepatitis um, there could be also cardiac complications um, sometimes it can be managed by corticosteroids and supportive care so i hope this video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video